Welcome friends, in this one I'm going to show you how to solve x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0 by completing the square. So there are different ways to do the completing the square, but I'm going to show you a way. So the way I do it is I take, I put down the parentheses, I put down x or whatever the variable is, and I always add here or subtract, depending on the sign, half of the coefficient of the x. So that would be 5 divided by 2. And then you always square this out. Now if you expanded this expression that you see on the screen, this would give you an extra positive 25 fourths by foil at the end. So you have to cancel it by doing always minus the square of this. So here is 5 over 2, which means here you also put 5 over 2 every single time, and it's always a negative in this position, not a positive, and it's always squared. And then you keep that plus 3, and you can the set this equal to 0. Now we simplify this. It's going to be x plus 5 divided by 2, quantity squared. It's going to be minus 25 divided by 4, and then plus 3 is equal to 0. Next we're going to have the following, x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared, and then you have to combine the two values there. So it's going to be minus 25 divided by 4, and write the 3 there as 12 divided by 4, and set this equal to 0. Still next, x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared, and minus, and then 25 minus 12 will give you here 13. You keep that over 4, set that equal to 0. Now you take that 13 fourths negative to the right side through addition, so it becomes s plus 5 over 2, this quantity squared, and then this on the right side becomes 13 divided by 4. From here, you take the square root of that expression on the bottom, so you're going to have the following then. Square root of x plus 5 over 2, this whole thing squared, and on the right side it's going to be, be careful because you need a plus or minus. And then here's square root of 13 divided by 4. What you can do on the left side is you can cancel these off. So the root and the 2 in this position can be canceled off this way. On the left side now we have x plus 5 divided by 2 left over. And on the right side we have plus or minus. And then you have to distribute the square root to the 13 and 4 individually. So it's going to give you for that reason the square root of 13. And this whole thing will be divided by the square root of 4 which is just 2. Then take the 5 halves from the left to the right through subtraction. So x will be equal to negative 5 over 2. And then here plus or minus that square root of 13 divided by 2, which means x will be equal, now because the bottoms are the same, 2 and 2, you can combine them to a single fraction, so you're going to get the following, negative 5 plus or minus square root of 13, and then divided by 2 this way. Remember this corresponds to two different answers, so the first one might be described as follows, negative 5 and then the plus the square root of 13 divided by 2, and the second one would be x equals negative 5 minus the square root of 13 divided by 2 this way. So if you like and subscribe, I'll see you in another video.